Next shoe that I thought I wanted to give a lot of props to and highlight and something that I think some people have paid attention to, some people haven't. But I think considering the amount of attention that I paid to those tiger um, mischief monstrosities, I should also place some respect and some honour and some light on some Vans collaborations that I think do a much better job than what those mischief tiger monstrosities were trying to do. And it's these, Vault by Vans by a guy called Imran Potato, who I've seen some stuff online about, you know, Instagram or whatnot, but in terms of getting to the next level in terms of collaboration this will probably be the thing that ends up kind of blowing him up to the general public outside of the cool kids on instagram who know who to follow and whatnot i think these vans this old school iteration that he's done is legitimately one of the best looking shoes i've seen from vans in a long time maybe up there with the jammed collaborations of vans especially the first batch of them because i think that colorway that he put together the fact that they were uh, made in that in that old box um, with the old box, the old hand tag, the colorways, the simplicity of it. This, I think, was one of the best collaborations they've done in a long, long, long time. Vans Vault, right? Absolutely beautiful. The skate mids, again, I'm not really a fan of the model. I think they look pretty crap. I've never really been a fan of the whole skater thing that they do where they get skate highs and they cut them into mids. I've always thought they were absolutely horrible looking. Um, I know some, I know if I'm not mistaken, that might have been the actual inspiration behind the half caps, if I'm not mistaken. If I've not got my, my, my footwear history wrong there. But regardless, I've always thought they looked a bit crap and cheap. But the collaboration that he did, Jound, with these... Um, skate mids were absolutely awesome i thought they came out really really well all three of these shoes are instant cops and you can obviously tell by the resale price that these were something that again resale price shouldn't always be an indicator but sometimes it, when it comes to stuff like vans you can tell people it's like my tom Sachs mars yards i love the shoe i wear them in the gym i've worn them for many many years i'm probably going to get another pair soon i don't care how much it costs i'll get another one and just put them on ice but you know resale price can also tell you that actual people wear them because there's not many available so that's why the retail price is maybe overinflated. and these vans and jowns are crazy resale price on StockX. so these are probably the last great vans collaborations that i've seen in recent years unfortunately supreme have stopped doing interesting ones with vans i thought the old ones that they did that i had before with the chuckers with the color blocks and stuff were awesome but they've gonna they've gone, they've gone to crap over time but i honestly do think these imran potato head vans are legitimately one of the best things i've seen in a long time these old schools great so if you're not seeing the picture they essentially look like uh, an inflated old school with a really fat whatever that mark is a swoosh a strike whatever on the side of the shoe they've got really fat laces they've got a fat tongue They've got a fat collar in terms of they've been a bit expanded and the toe box looks a little bit stretched too. So essentially they look like um, a Vans version of a, D, of a D3, of an Osiris shoe, you know those classic skate shoes. But also what I think what this might have, what they might have done for this, this looks like something that was built off of the Vans uh, Rowley, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's it, right? Vans Rowley. Uh, Rowley Pro. It's a bit fat as well, if I'm not mistaken, because it comes in, yeah, that's it. It comes in blue um it comes in black too classic colorways but it, it kind of reminds me of these the imran potatoes in terms of the thickness and the fatness because i'm not sure if they absolutely let him retool an entire vans model i'm not sure if that's something they would do um given you know his profile given the collaboration given it's the first time I'm, I'm not too sure if that would be the thing that he would have clout over or, or control over in terms of doing his own shoe from the ground up all the way through i well i think it may be just as a something they built off of a rowley in, already which is already a shoe they already have in line at vans that obviously jeff rowley the skater designed um but i think these do a really good job in terms of kind of building on top of that great design of a shoe because i've always thought the rally was a severely underrated vans in terms of people who are fans of old schools or maybe um uh, what's the other one authentics and whatnot and eras that kind of low profile shoe is definitely something i think you should take an eye on with obviously the rallies but obviously the imran potato head ones look absolutely amazing really really amazingly done you've got another one with like a cheetah print colorway too that look really great then you've got another one with a more of a what do you call that a leopard skin print there going on and obviously you've got the switch there with the white laces the white laces are obviously the game changer even with the all black ones you have to put the white laces in there they look amazing then you've got some really great iteration of a skate high i would have liked to have seen the skate high done in the same style as the old school though maybe a bit more fatter looking one of the things i hate about skate highs is that they look quite good and solid when you first get them and after a few wears they tend to kind of flatten out and get a little bit 
which is probably why a lot of people love the Converse 70s. Because the Converse 70s, especially the vintage ones, they have an ability to keep their shape and their form pretty well. Especially for someone like myself, who I don't necessarily think I look too great in Vans or in, sorry, um, in Converse's because I've got really wide feet and I'm not generally a kind of thin looking guy from the side profile. I don't think they look, again, maybe it's my own complex, but I don't think they look that great. But I think Converse's do a good job of kind of being the in-between of that sort of thing in terms of having that kind of look. And I would have liked to have a little bit more attention put on that with these Imran Potato Head skate highs. But still, I love the application of it. You've got this amazing illustration of a hand on the side of the shoe, um, illustrated, and it's also kind of uh, bleeding into the tongue itself. I love the lacing as well, by the way. Good little thing. Um, this is something that I've always kind of had a real big pet peeve of mine when it comes to sneaker photography. I hate it when Nike take a shoe out from the box and just take pictures of it, like sitting on a table. It pisses me off. Like, especially when they limited edition shoes. Take the time to relay. Like, it's interesting because when I, when I was working for Nike at the store 1948 RIP in Shoreditch back in the day, or even when I used to work in other shoe stores like Dr. Martin's or anywhere else that I had before, like an office or offspring for a short period of time, that you always had to relay shoes. That was a common thing. You had to do spacing on the rails for sh for clothes. Uh, sometimes one finger, two finger, depending on who your manager is, depending on how much stuff you were selling. And you always had to relay shoes. So you take the shoes, the the, sho the shoelaces off, and you'd relace them so that the so that the basically the laces were like over under instead of under over, right? Whatever it may be. But it's something that if you care about sneakers, you know. If you don't care, you won't know. But I also think overall, in terms of the presentation of a shoe, it really helps to give it a little bit of character and to give it a little bit of form and give people an idea of what it looks like when they put it on their feet. So it increases sales. For whatever reason, even though I think the majority of people, like myself included, we see all our images of sneakers online. You don't get to see them in a store like we did in previous years because, you know, stores don't sell cool stuff anymore. All the accounts that were there that were selling great stuff have died and gone in other directions. Some of them are completely died and aren't around anymore. Now stores, if they are selling cool stuff, they have to sell loads of other crappy stuff. So to find the cool stuff is really difficult, especially for the cool stuff because it's limited and everyone wants it. So you won't even see it in store. So you're always seeing it in this 2D flat form all the time. So why not make it look more appealing by just, you know, removing the laces, relacing it and making it look like how you'd want to look, how you ideally like the models or the people to wear them, like your ideal version. And that's what they've done with how they've laced it, especially how they laced the skates with the laces just hanging out that way. And then with the skate highs, they've got this low four lace thing, which I've never seen someone wear in real life, to be honest. Really interesting way of doing a skate high, which has done a bit of a road kind of, you know, bit of a road looking way of doing it but i really like it honestly it's done in a really really cool way even the colorways they pick for skate highs are nice they've got the classic checkerboard the blue colorway and then the all blacks really done in an incredibly good way from what i've seen online every single model is sold out which is again adamant or testament to how popular this oh they come with blue laces too they oh i'm gonna try to get them a resale they come with blue laces too they look so good the old schools with the blue laces they look great oh yeah he did yeah that's it isn't it Imran potato head did the did those shoes that look like feet too, the rubberized ones, that are really cool. I'd, I'd actually love to get a pair of those actually just to kind of fuck around in. But they look so absolutely cool. They've got the foot there at the bottom, which I'm assuming is maybe his signature that he does. The cheetah print ones look amazing with the white socks and the denim, with the denim shorts. You've got a pair of the black ones again with the blue laces, which I'm obviously going to get. Oh man, I would love to get a pair of these. Oh, amazing amazing you got us pizza here in the swimming pool wearing them underwater so check in you know they're clearly waterproof for reasons there's a jacuzzi cooling out doing this thing i've actually got an interesting story about Al's pizza back in the day when i was working for this um major art supply conglomerate one of the first people i reached out to, to about being an influencer and giving him materials to do his work on and stuff was Al's pizza i actually sent him a whole box of stuff he never actually ended up shouting us out and stuff whatever but i ended up, i did end up seeing him post pictures of using stuff but he never said or tagged anything in it but i was one of the first people who saw the who saw the flipping power and asked Pizza back in the day and sent him a whole bunk, box of markers, paints, and all that sort of stuff. So that was pretty cool. So yeah, he's got all that stuff there. Oh my god, they look so great, man. They look so amazing. Again, when you when you see regular dudes wearing them and they look great, you already know it's a, it's a heavyweight shoe, man. You already know it's a heavyweight shoe. So if I'm not mistaken, most of them are already out of stock. Um okay, cool. It's called the that's what the models are called. It's called the new school V3. So let me see if they've got these on StockX and how much they're going for because I'm definitely going to try and buy a pair for myself because these look absolutely flames. Okay, sneakers and stuff allegedly still has them, which I don't think is true. I think that's a lie. Um, End is going to be stocking them very soon. Let's check what they're saying. 
and let's also see what StockX are saying because from what I've seen online, they're all out of stock everywhere. But let's see if StockX actually has a pair available. Yeah, 187. Oh, that's a lot, isn't it? But still, for what they are, and again, this is something that I think in general people don't do enough of. If you actually like something, especially if it's not that hyped, um, you shouldn't go based off the resale because I don't know who does this. Who buys shoes based off resale value? But I know some of them do. But if you actually like something, like you legitimately like it, buy it. Buy it. Just buy it if you like it. Buy it, rock it, make it a hot thing, turn it into the new Crocs, whatever it may be, buy it. Do yourself a favor. How much is it going for in a size 10? My size, UK. Let's see. Let's see what they're saying. Come on. You're not going to show me? You're not going to show me? There we go. Let's see. Let's see what they're saying here. US 10. Oh, 185. Okay, for US 11. Not too bad then. It's a bit much to pay for a van, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's a g amazing price. But still, for the sneaker that it is, it's pretty incredible. I'm not going to lie. How much did, how much did the Cheetah ones go for? Are they more expensive? We don't have the Cheetah ones, do we? No, we just have those. Let's see if we just put the search name in these and think and see if they come up. But I'm interested to see how much the Cheetah ones go for as well in here. Do they have those available too? Or is it just the... Uh, the cheetah ones here. Yeah, let's see how much of those go on the yellow. Because I've got a feeling they're going to be a little bit more priced. I don't know why people seem to have this kind of hard on for cheetah print stuff. But, oh, okay. Not really. 137 for the yellow ones. And let's see how much they go for on my size. US 11, 195. So, yes, about £10 more. And then the black ones, uh, cheetah prints here as well. Let's see how much they go for on the US 11. Those go for 185. So, the standout colorway so far in my size is the cheetah here at the bottom. But obviously, I still think, sorry, that one here at the bottom. But obviously, I still think these ones, the classics, are definitely the best. And again, look how different that lacing is to the what I showed you about on from Hypebeast and how these make them look terrible. They don't actually make them look that great here. But in the actual images that we saw earlier, like those images, they actually look way better that like that than they do like this. So immediately these and the pictures that we saw that you know from the lookbook or from the editorial or wherever it may be called they look way better and make you want them and then these instantly look like you know anything look like any other vans whereas this actually makes them look different you clearly see there's a there's a there's a stuffed tongue you clearly see that the collar here has been somewhat widened you see the widened this you see it even gives you this illusion that the soul's thicker but i don't think it is Do you know what i mean all those things are applicable there so are they available on stickers and stuff yeah they are actually still in a size four only though crazy and then on end they have available as well or is it due to launch oh it's already launched it launched on the 21 so they're already out there they shouldn't be available if they're already launched no or am i bugging latest let's see what they say here uh come on brother okay let's just go to sorry Let's go back to launches again and see what they're available. But I don't think they are anyway. From what I've seen, they're all sold out literally everywhere. Um, let's see, launches. Let's scroll down and see if they've got available. Uh, come on, come on, come on. It's loading. Yeah, so these are all gone. The the reverse pandas, they're calling them, right? Oh, no, not pandas. What are they calling these? They're calling these uh, military blacks or something, right? um what else do they have available here do we see them here launch there launch. yeah okay cool yeah so these were launched already and they're gone they should be gone let's check um and just in case yeah but we don't see them anywhere available so i'm pretty sure they probably end up going but yeah still an amazing shoe love everything about them i didn't see the vans potato head thing at the back there but definitely a standout shoe and definitely something that i think deserves more credit especially for those abominations that we saw from flipping tiger and mischief those are really really sick so check those out if you do get a chance check those out